if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe already <laughs> I know I sound like really pushy right now but I don't mean to come off that way but if you haven't please subscribe if you're new if not welcome back and so I have four rules on how to mix match patterns and a form and to create a form of an outfit have you ever seen a photo in like these editorial magazines um like Vogue, Runway, any type of high fashion magazines that show these models wearing five sometimes six different patterns with different colors in it and you're like how did they do that or you know, it does look, look good when you're looking at it. Like, some of the times you're looking at it and like, oh, my God, like, a mad scientist put this together. Like, a mad scientist. Which, 9 out of 10, is just they went off of a cohesive color. So, they just went with colors that match literally one pattern. So, my first tip is size matter. So, when it comes to size, you want to mix match up the size. Where if you have a small pattern on top, you can have like a large pattern on the bottom. Stuff like that because you just don't want it to clash like having a two big patterns to two small patterns. You might can get away with it, but it will only be with the second rule I have. It will be with matching that common color with um, that pattern. So there could be one common color with, between the two patterns. So say that pattern has polka dots against stripes, like the same color as the stripes, and you just put it together, bam, that's number two. Um, and number three, so you, number three is using accessories. Accessories like glasses, headbands, headscarves, scarves, earrings, necklace, you know, um, bracelets, Jackets, anything that you can add to an outfit is like accessories. You can also use it for like neutrals. You can add in accessories for neutrals like black, navy, cream, um, white, anything to dye down the patterns kind of. Especially this is a great tip for people This is that is trying as beginners. The best tip I can say is do the patterns by color. Like mix them up by the by the common color and then add a neutral accessory to it. So you can feel a little bit not out, out the comfort zone yet. <laughs> so like in like in baby steps. I love this mixing patterns for beginners because everybody's not gonna just wanna be bold and out there on the first day of mixing patterns. And then number four, like I talked about in number three, mixing it with neutrals so again like I said the neutrals are like black brown cream beige uh, white anything in that neutral family you can just add to the to the attire to make it you know a little simple so you don't feel like you're like crazy or and then also there's natural prints natural prints there's, there's neutral prints like leopard print and stripes. I like to use those more as like a neutral as well. Um, so, so if you had a monochrome outfit, basically where it's just black or white or like one color tone for top and bottom, top and bottom. So in this case, um, black and white stripes up top with um, a black and white uh, crisscross uh, pattern on the bottom add like a pop of color to that so either like a red blazer or a red purse or a pink purse whatever the pop of color you want you can even do like a navy blue neutral or a beige well, that beige would be awesome against that outfit though like I think I have like a <laughs> a brain where I envision these things already and then I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing but like adding like a beige or a nude to that um, to a monochrome outfit is everything like serious. Well, if you follow these four steps, I'm, I believe you can't go wrong with it. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll be coming out with the next video next week. 
So again, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or ideas, please link them below or write, <laughs> add them below. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Search but you stay lost We are